Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the $80 RTR. RTR is the abbreviations for a set called Return to Ravnica. $80 you can buy as many boxes as you want right now at my locals. And they have, well when I mean as many as you want, they have about 16 boxes. Uh, they're all not in cases though, so otherwise I would purchase them a little cheaper in cases. $80 for this box is extremely, incredibly low. And I actually was purchasing them at $80 around Halloween, last, last Halloween, to kind of stock up, but then obviously I opened them. And, you know. So when you look at RTR, I look at a few cards. Abrupt Decay would be the highest on my list. Uh, that card is only a rare. Again, when you're opening boxes and you're opening stuff, you can't really rely on the Mythics to bail you out. Yes, you know, you could get I don't even know what the most expensive mythic would be in that set now. Revelation, I guess, would be. That's one that's plummeting. Jace is no longer good. Roska is no longer good. So I mean, even like in that set, the rare is actually probably the most valuable card, and that's you know that's definitely a plus. Uh, the reason it is a plus is because you're more likely to get a abrupt decay than a certain mythic that you're trying to look for, which makes the dragon maze extremely risky because there's only one mythic of value. And that card is, I mean, so hard to get that exact mythic. But for a rare, like Abrupt Decay, uh, maybe you get it, maybe you don't, but you're probably going to get Abrupt Decay or Death Rite Shaman. Death Rite Shaman is very good. Should it be unbanned, it should rise dramatically in price. Uh, and it's already very good in Legacy, so in, uh, Abrupt Decay is just good in every format. And when you have something like Abrupt Decay, which is only going to rise in time, in that set, and you also have five shock lands. That's very good value. That's tremendous value. And when I look at the uh, shock lands and I think to myself, hmm, there's five of those, there's one abrupt, that's six, and it's death right, I would say seven. Seven cards which you want to see in a booster pack even now. That's crazy. Like, that's absolutely crazy. And in many aspects, uh, I really, 80 bucks for an RTR box is probably the best you can do. And I wouldn't mind holding on to a few extra boxes at that price point. Because, I mean, when you have something like, and I'm not even talking about the possibility to get the foil abrupt decays. When I look at boxes, when I look at the fat pack for RTR, it's over 60 bucks right now. That's, you know, somehow the fat pack is like risen in price but the booster box has not uh, and that's kind of um weird right that's kind of strange but at the same time it it makes sense to me uh but the boost, that means the booster box is a very good deal at 80 bucks if you can get it so my rtr will be a valuable set in the future maybe it takes two years four years i don't know how many years but i can pretty much guarantee you that there are cards in rtr which will only go up in price Bye, guys.